Doubleday is an American publishing company founded as Doubleday and McClure Company in 1897 that by 1947 was the largest in the United States. It published the work of mostly U.S. authors under a number of imprints and distributed them through its own stores. In 2009 Doubleday merged with Knopf Publishing Group to form the Knopf Doubleday Publishing Group, which is now part of Penguin Random House. Topic history The firm was founded as Doubleday and McClure Company in 1897 by Frank Nelson Doubleday, who had formed a partnership with magazine publisher Samuel McClure. One of their first bestsellers was The Day's Work by Rudyard Kipling. Other authors published by the company in its early years include W. Somerset Maugham and Joseph Conrad. Theodore Roosevelt, Jr. later served as a vice president of the company. In 1900, the company became Doubleday, Page & Company when Walter Hines Page joined as a new partner. In 1922, the founder's son, Nelson Doubleday, joined the firm. In 1910, Doubleday, Page, and Co. moved its operations, which included a train station, to Garden City. The Doubleday Company purchased much of the land on the east side of Franklin Avenue, and estate homes were built for many of its executives on 4th Street. In 1916, company co-founder and Garden City resident Walter Hines Page was named ambassador to Great Britain. In 1922, Doubleday founded their juvenile department, the second in the nation, with May Massey as head. In 1927, Doubleday merged with the George H. Doran Company, creating Doubleday, Doran, then the largest publishing business in the English speaking world. In 1946, the company became Doubleday and Company. Nelson Doubleday resigned as president, but continued as chairman of the board until his death on January 11, 1949. Douglas Black took over as president from 1946 to 1963. Black's tenure, attracted numerous public figures to the publishing company, including Dwight D. Eisenhower, Harry S. Truman, Douglas MacArthur, Robert Taft, and Audrey Malru, and was a strong opponent to censorship feeling that it was his responsibility to the American public to publish controversial titles. Black also expanded Doubleday's publishing program by opening two new printing plants, creating a new line of quality paperbacks, under the imprint Anchor Books, attracting new book clubs to its book club division, opening 30 new retail stores in 25 cities, and opening new editorial offices in San Francisco, London, and Paris. By 1947, Doubleday was the largest publisher in the U.S., with annual sales of over 30 million books. Doubleday's son in law John Sargent was president and CEO from 1963 to 1978. In 1967 the company purchased the Dallas-based Trig Vaughan group of radio and TV stations to create Doubleday Broadcasting. After expanding during the 1970s and 1980s, Doubleday sold the broadcasting division in 1986. Nelson Doubleday Jr. succeeded John Sargent as president and CEO from 1978 to 1985. In 1980, the company bought the New York Mets baseball team. The Mets defeated the Boston Red Sox to win the World Series in 1986 in a seven-game contest. By 1985, Doubleday and Company was seeing a decline in sales from 1980 and hired James R. McLaughlin, the head of Dell Publishing, a Doubleday subsidiary, to streamline and downsize. McLaughlin went on to succeed Doubleday in as president and CEO, with Doubleday becoming chairman of the board. By 1986, the firm was a fully integrated international communications company, doing trade publishing, mass market paperback publishing, book clubs, and book manufacturing, together with ventures in broadcasting and advertising. The company had offices in London and Paris and wholly owned subsidiaries in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, with joint ventures in the UK and the Netherlands. Nelson Doubleday Jr. sold the publishing company to Bertelsmann in 1986 for a reported $475 million. The deal did not include the Mets which Nelson Doubleday and minority owner Fred Wilpin had purchased from Doubleday & Company for $85 million. 
In 2002, Doubleday sold his stake in the Mets to Wilpen for $135 million after a feud of the monetary value of the team. In 1988, portions of the firm became part of the Bantam Doubleday Dell Publishing Group, which in turn became a division of Random House in 1998. In late 2008 and early 2009, the Doubleday imprint merged with Knopf Publishing Group to form the Knopf Doubleday Publishing Group. In October 2008, Doubleday laid off about 10% of its staff, 16 people across all departments. Topic: <inaudible> Presidents. <inaudible> Frank Doubleday, founder 1897 to 1922. Nelson Doubleday, 1922 to 1946. Douglas Black, 1946 to 1963. John Turner Sargent Senior, 1963 to 1978. Nelson Doubleday Jr., 1978 to 1983. James R. McLaughlin, 1983 to 1986. Topic: Notable editors. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, associate editor 1978 to 1982, senior editor 1982 to 1994. May Massey, head of juvenile 1922 to 1932. Topic: Notable authors. Topic: Notable employees William Faulkner, worked part-time at the Doubleday Bookstore in New York City in 1921 Topic imprints The following are imprints that exist or have existed under Doubleday. Anchor Books, produced quality paperbacks for bookstores, named for the anchor that along with a dolphin, forms Doubleday's colophon, now part of the Knopf Publishing Group's vintage anchor unit Blackiston Co., Medical and Scientific Books. Sold in 1947 to McGraw-Hill Blue Ribbon Books, purchased in 1939 from Rennell and Hitchcock Book League of America, contemporary and world classic literature, purchased in 1936 The Crime Club, active through much of the 20th century, publishing mystery and detective novels, most notably the Fu Manchu series by Sax Roma and the Saint series by Leslie Charteris Garden City Publishing Co., originally established as a separate firm by Nelson Doubleday, Garden City's books were primarily reprints of books first offered by Doubleday, printed from the original plates but on less expensive paper. It was named for the village on New York's Long Island in which Doubleday was long headquartered until 1986, and which still houses Bookspan, the direct marketer of general interest and specialty book clubs run by Doubleday Direct and Book of the Month Club Holdings. Image Books, Catholic Books, still a Doubleday unit as part of Doubleday Religious Publishing Nan Atelier's, Doubleday, a literary imprint established in 1990. Talese, the imprint's publisher and editorial director, is a senior vice president of Doubleday. Permabooks, paperback division established in 1948 Rimmington & Hooper, high-quality limited editions Triangle Books, purchased in 1939 from Rennell & Hitchcock, sold inexpensive books through chain stores Zenith Books, aimed at African-American youths. Topic bookstores Doubleday bookstores were purchased by Barnes & Noble in 1990 and operated by B. Dalton. <laughs> 